everyone, happy Monday. Coach Shannon here at True Core in Annapolis, and I wanted to come to you guys and talk a little bit about jump ropes and jump rope heights. So in our gym today, we have a ton of jump rope happening, and something that I've seen um, a lot of people do, whether it's here or somewhere else, is they actually don't know how to choose the right height for them, and as a result, they work way too hard on their jump rope, where we can make it a lot easier, a lot more efficient, and easier to work out much better. So, while here at TrueCore we have the majority of our jump ropes are uh, according to height, sometimes you know you might have longer legs or a longer torso, so the height that you see on our list may not actually fit exactly where you're at. So, the easiest way to figure out best jump rope height is to take your jump rope. I've got like three lengths here, so we can go through each one of them. Now, mind you, if you're not seven months pregnant, it might be a little bit different. For me, when I'm about to show you, the bump kind of gets in the way. But pretend like the bump isn't there, let's say. All right, take a jump rope. I'm gonna put it each handle in each hand. I'm gonna step on the jump rope with one foot right in the middle. I'm gonna pull the handles up and see where they end. So for me, right now, they end at my sternum. This would be the best height for me, okay? So when you stand on that jump rope and pull it up, you want the end of the handles to be at the base of that sternum. What that's gonna help you with is when you go to jump, you have enough rope that you can actually pass under your feet twice or once, depending where you're at, and still have enough slack that that wrist can stay loose and relaxed. What we don't want is people clenching, right? Because the more I clench, the less coordination I have. We also don't want people having a too long rope because then their arms go out to make the rope shorter when they jump and they end up trying out their shoulder. So this would be ideal for me. Here's an example of one that would be too short. I'll take it, I'll step on it, do the exact same thing. You can see on this one how the bow bottom of the handles only come up to my belly. A little bit higher, somewhere like halfway between my belly button and my sternum. This would be way too short for me. When I went to jump, it would catch, let's pretend it falls. It would catch and I would have to really, really jump much higher, bend my, my knees much more, which is gonna make my workout a ton more difficult. And then th this one, let's see what the deal is with this one. I can't remember if it was too long or too short. So again, step in the center of it, bring it up. This too would be too short, okay? So an example of too high would be if I was to step on it and the handles were up past the center of my sternum, maybe by my collarbone or somewhere in between, that would be too high. So easy, simple guidance that I actually do with every single rope before I jump, even if it says, hey, this rope should fit someone that's five, six. I'll step on it to make sure that it comes up right at the, the center of my sternum. That way I can keep a nice relaxed wrist, nice relaxed shoulder, and get through my double unders or single as easily as possible. Tip from TrueCore today, guys. Have a great Monday.